Hi everyone. Hi. Let me brief about an accident that happened in February 1998-11. It was a disaster of the annum. So sad of that. It's none other than it's my birthday. This kid was born in that time. And my name is Tenet Aditya. I'm 17 years old. Uh, Worldwide called us innovator and innovation scholar, basically termed as researcher. Currently homed in SBS Educational Institute, pursuing computer science. And I'm a serial innovator. So far, I have 19 inventions in my name. And motivational speaker. So far, Worldwide had made 78 speeches. And researcher, teacher, professional coin collector, and also software developer. So far, I had 28 softwares developed. And also a science campaigner doing campaigns all over worldwide. And this is basically me. I am a multi talented normal kid. I started my scientific journey by having an artistic award at kindergarten. And then had my literature laureate at the age of six. This is how my passion starts. I like to create things. Because just sitting a kid and playing football as a kid doesn't matter. So I got bored. I started to do stuff that I love most. These are my passion. And then I'm very much lazy. One of my favorite teachers used to say that I'm pretty much easy, lazy to even draw a line. When I was in kindergarten, it was an exam. It's, I think it's an annual exam. I just gone to the teacher and I asked, Ma'am, do I have to put these all circles by myself? In the exam hall, it seems to be very hard for a kindergarten kid, I guess so. Then this lazy kid has turned from a lazy to busy thing. How by? I start to observe things instead of seeing things. Then, how come my journey started? I need to do something innovative or new things for the world. I love books and I started to read from a very early age and I got my first technical encyclopedia at the age of six for a very hard struggle because my dad didn't give it to me. And as like a usual kid, I smashed all toys. And fortunate thing is I rebuilt it better than it's ever been before. And I and also took calculators and watches from my mother. And for, uh, luckily I was saved by my grandma from getting beaten by black and blue. And this was my first uh, successful experiment, which I done in my age six. And books doesn't feed my intellectual tests. And it was just a small information it contains. If you want to read something about something, I need to wait for at least two days to get those books. So I found that, that the uh, solution which I had in my hand is the internet. And then the guy who is just having Having the uh, hand needs to be introduced to me, then I can get into the internet. So who is going to introduce me to him? I was from a rural. I am from a rural area that computer was not a good item in those ages. And uh, after a struggle for about one year, I got admitted in a computer educational institute, which is a private one. And they made a challenge. This is only for at least after a high school graduate. But you are a kindergarten student. You are at the only at the age of eight. So why you want to learn this? So they made a challenge. You can't continue. But they made an offer that you can continue for about three days. We will see if you're good enough. We'll give you a chance. Then I got admitted, and the very first day they said, "You can come tomorrow, man. You're good enough for us." And after five years of uh, four years and uh, four and a half years of continuous struggle, I done my Guinness World Record at the age of 11, most softest and games created on younger stage. And uh, at the age of 12, I created 18 uh, softwares. And, uh, and then I was curious about that. We are creating softwares for office and utilities and students. Why not we create an another world record that could make a software different? So I created a software called PowerMind. So uh, that is a software capable of running for about 570 years continuously without any interruption, which is the world's longest running computer program so far right now. And I, you, as you well know, I'm a ruler kid, so no, uh, not much 
having an uh, infrastructure for getting into technologies. So I traveled national wide at the very next year and meet student, interacted with them, motivate them, and uh, said that technology is the, our life birth. So we need to get into most of the things. Then so far, interacted with 17,000 plus students worldwide as a motivational speaker. And my next parallel line, science is traveling at the same time. And I done my first successful invention at, the, at my sixth grade in 2010, wireless electricity transmission. While, whilst I reading transformer principle, I thought, why not we elaborate this to make a wireless electric transmission? I done it those. That's a picture of that. And this is my banana leaf technology. That's most my successful invention so far. I created a technology that capable of preserving leaves for about one year without using any chemicals. Just you can see, you can preserve the leaves as you see in the trees for about an annum. And these are the products which I made from the preservation technology. What is the main aim of is to replace plastic? That's one of the global issue right now. This is a normal leaf after three days. I preserved the normal leaf and made this like this. So it's of a picture taken after one year. You can still see it's greeny and fresh. And this is after three years. Not only preservation, I also increase its property like durability, crushability, temperature holding capacity. So that's the leaves is just changed like a plastic, which is a beneficial one. And then I made so far 18 applications, which are ranging from bags, cups, plates, and envelopes, wraps that you can, you cannot toxin by plastic anymore by using the biodegradable thing. And what's the use of creating this utility right away? We can save 30 million, uh, 30 million trees per annum by this technology, and we can replace 59 percentage of plastic by this technology only. And by working on this uh, techno uh, technology, I had a problem. I'm a kid who don't want to live with problem. When I see a problem, I was just, I got arrogant, and I just, why this problem was existing so far? Let's tackle this, man. And we'll, uh, one of the techno invention of mine is adjustable electrical extension board, which is a device I created to power many uh, kind of electrical device at the same time. This device is capable of powering for about 17 different devices. For example, 17 mobiles at the time, 17 TVs, anything you want. And it's completely adjustable so that you can power any country plugs in here. So these are my other inventions. So how come I'm a school student and I'm doing this kind of stuff? How come I get the time? So I come, I usually go to school and I get out and have some homework also. Then I have to study for the testers. After that, I, I will start my scientific research. I will awake till 3 a.m. in my lab, just knocking my, uh, locking myself, and I become an outstanding student in my school. How come you're standing outstanding? I always stand outside of the class. That's what uh, that makes the outstanding student. <laughs> then uh, I took a lot of uh, on duty from my school on seventh grade. That makes me to miss most of the classes. Then this this guy become the enemy, the biggest enemy of my life. The algebra kind of th thing. I hate this most because I'm not in the classes. I don't know anything what's happening there, and. Also, by standing outside, I would just pass the grade as a topper. How come it's, how come? Anybody can tell that? Finally, as a student, I found, the, I realized that the difference between education, learning, and intelligence, these three, uh, three items are peculiarly different, but we are missing this together. That's the wrong thing we do. This is a uh, current educational system which we are having. They are just making as a copying machine, not even as a printer, just a copying machine. Do I want to become a copying machine? I can buy it from a computer store. <laughs> then I have to go to school. What I have to do for my scientific research and computer programming? Then I finally found a solution in my grade eight. So grade doesn't matter. It doesn't uh, give or predict your intelligence. And even if you say so, who is going to accept your neighborhood, your relative, 
none right so what i do i go up with my current studies and i have my book like this i go i am a first first bench student always but i go for uh, last bench and i i have a plain paper and write down my programming instead of studying those books but i already studied those lessons before i coming to the school so my uh, so far 24 softwares in my life has been created on the last bench of my class so this is the reality we don't have any practical ability or knowledge in our classes that's our lagging thing what's the use of going to classes i can i can still remember the trigonometrical value no, nothing else than in my max class nothing uses in that so you can you can see this formula most of you guys has gone through this i'm still waiting for about last for two years to use this in my reality but still that's no use man so life is going well you guys are doing a great job by writing codes in the last bench but life is not a bed of roses i realize that science is like so good, having a good scientific research is like maintaining a pretty girlfriend in your life so it's very hard thing so you know how that things feel up so once i mixed the two chemicals in my lab accidentally and uh, i was hospitalized for about a month i i am unable to do my whole uh, metabolism and i i'm even i am unable to breathe steadily that's what i got so it's like maintaining a girlfriend is like you have to do everything perfect for her so it's like the same thing you have to do for the science so this is my uh, best and i like this theory most iceberg theory every other people start to ask me how come how come you are doing this how you are different from other kid i'm just saying they are saying Uh, i am completely successful you have no flaws man but they are not seeing this they are only seeing this success but that doesn't matter we have this under this is my secret of success i don't stand in a safe limit for example everyone wants to get a job and be safe in the family for example if you get a uh, first one in the month you will get a 30000 or 40000 is that enough for your life man is it's not a human being it's just like a machine you are doing and you, you have to unleash yourself your weakness your strength and what you are capable of then you have to do stuff like that and you have to be self motivated there should be no inspiration because if you have inspiration you are destroying yourself you have more potential than anyone else in the world also you have to be persistent in lot of times i just thought why we chosen this hard life we can be like other kids playing around and being cotton being like this kind of life leading a life is is the hardest thing in the life and the whole thing i thought we have a single life we have to do enjoy i also agree with that but we have to achieve something that's we have to be persistent and we have to sacrifice ourselves for our aim and my journey started when i was in three and off and now i am 17 how come i get success in the journey i represented india in global science fair and i got gold medal in that and uh i guess you you know the uh, this respected person very much i suddenly got an invitation from the president house that president wants you to stay in his house for about one month so i am the first student in the whole country to get the privilege in that that experience changed me most because i thought it was a lack of opportunity and lack of fee, uh, lack of success in our life which our country gives no we should not uh, accept expect anything from our country we should give we should sacrifice ourselves for its welfare and this is with their with the discussion and this is uh, this is the prince of bahrain and i i am the first indian to get the international youth creative award so far and i am the youngest one so far awardee and the inter international young inventor award i am the youngest global stem entrepreneur and is an innovation scholar title from our government 
and this is for my favorite organization vipa it's an international award this is a national award from csir best inventor award in india and international young inventor and innovator award international green technology award euro event i got the first place in european invention also the only indian i don't want to repeat this so much another international one same thing and i was i also visited un and a speaker i am i've been a speaker there and is it enough i'm successful i'm good for my age but it's not enough man there are a lot of king kids around you and outside india is the youngest country we have the average rate of 29 in our life experience so why not we succeed we don't have any uh, we have enough resources we have enough manpower we have the youth but why not then i thought and i started a campaign called let's innovate youth and i'm doing this for about last 7 years and uh, this is in delhi and this is my first press meet after the when the launching of the let's innovate youth guess i was cute that time <laughs> this was an uh, uh, it was a state level let's youth in a uh, campaign it is an international one so for uh, for my our uh, social works i got recognition from international level and uh, national state also i got international diana award and uh, state states youth best award from our honorable chief minister and this is an organizing uh, organizing and what i am doing currently is eternal hydro core that's a tech that can uh, replace the usual method of agriculture you don't have to put water in your field agriculture have don't have to suffer for rain that's what i'm currently working at and a project transmutation that's a that's a huge project i'm doing that project for about last 8 years so so far not big thing it's kind of a transmutation a yeah, normal metal into an uh, precious or most important metal i'm trying to i'm not going to create a uh, gold from iron i'm trying to create and radioactive metal from a normal metal metal that's what the research holds on and these are the awards which you already know 13 international and nine national nine state so i'm i'm a humble kid struggling to be youth soon so that's what i'm here what i'm trying to tell please explore and let the youth in creative path thank you very much